All right, Hurricane Howley here. I am, uh, I'm on location in Honolulu, Hawaii. You know, we are, we're in the middle of this hurricane warning, hurricane lane, and um, so I just wanted to show you guys what the conditions are like here on the ground. So we, we've had some pretty strong winds uh, yesterday throughout the night. So I also got some interesting footage of, of down at the, the ocean today. You know, I, I, I went just because, you know, I've been in storms before. Um, you know, I consider myself a pretty safe person. So I took my bike out. It was really difficult riding my bike. Super high winds, you know, it, it, was, it was really hard to pedal sometimes. Um, but there were some people down there, some just like on the beach, uh, some, were, uh, some were fishing. Uh, but I, I got some good, um, good interviews with them, see like, like what's going through their head that they're doing. Hey, Hurricane Howley here. I'm, uh, I'm here in Honolulu, Hawaii at Makalei Beach Park. Um, Makalei translates to fish trap. And that's kind of how we all feel right here now on Oahu uh, with Hurricane Lane. I heard, heard some talk about it possibly being downgraded or something. I don't know about that. We've had some pretty high winds here. I mean, like, definitely, you know, I got here like almost three years ago and definitely the highest winds I've ever seen. Um, so, hey, let's go, go check out the ocean behind me, see what's happening down there. So you can see behind me, it's, you know, we definitely got the effects of a storm on us here. Small craft advisories out there, you know, don't go out with your small crafts, but you can see behind me here, there's, there's definitely people on their surfboards and I know these guys are taking their lives into their own hands. I, I can't believe, yeah, I'm, I'm standing here at the railing, but you can see, you can see how it's just beating up against the, the, sh the break here. You, you guys are obviously not paying attention to the warnings they've given to, you know, stay inside, stay off the roads. And, you know, what's your take on this? She needed to jump in the water. Just Every day she has to jump in the water, so we're here. But it's definitely not safe today. Uh, today is okay. There's guys today surfing. It looks like away. a beautiful, beautiful day out on the water. The surfers, I mean, they're, they're known to be dumb, though, right? Uh-oh. Or what have you guys done to prepare? Uh, we got some water at our house. We got... Uh, like how much water? Uh, we have bottled drinking water and then we have water for the toilets if we need. We got uh, windows boarded up. Everything's taken uh, taken off of an eye. Okay, because Ready we could be without power and water for like three weeks. Yeah, so we got so enough prepared to flush for that? the toilet probably we got three pretzels, times. We got so, Oreos. so you can flush the toilet three times? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna do when the power goes out and there's like no well, internet? We didn't have power yesterday, but good thing the jacuzzi was already heated. So okay. we we're already in the jacuzzi, power's out, it was fine. Okay. And so if, so if you were to rate this from a scale of one to 10, um, I think that would be I would go with an 11. Yeah, 11. I didn't have to go to work, which really stressed me out. Well, you guys stay safe because it's, Probably not gonna be, down. You're not going to be safe sitting here because when the surge comes in, you, you won't be able to fight that. She'll be swimming through it. No, I mean, you think you're a strong swimmer, but the hurricane surge, you can't fight that. So Yeah, so I'm going to head back home and uh, make sure everything's Bunker shuttered down. up. And so, yeah, you guys stay safe. Don't stay too long right here. Yeah, we won't, we won't. So we also found this this fisher person here down at the pier. She's um, you know, She also didn't heed the, the warnings about staying inside. So did you hear the sirens go off yesterday? No. The, 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 the warning sirens? The war warnings went on TV. Okay, but you, so you saw them on TV? Yeah. You know, so most people are inside right now, putting the sandbags out and putting the shutters up and... and but not here. The fish knows that the hurricane is already passed. Oh, they already... That's okay. why we're fishing, because they're coming back. So does the hurricane push fish from, from further out inward? Yeah, so, so, we, so we have new fish now. So now they're running back where it's not crazy. All right, well, um, I'm going to go back home and, and make sure everything is, uh, is, is secure and in place because... Where are you, you know, from? Oh, I, I've been here for three years, uh, originally from Chicago, though. I'm excited to be here experiencing my first Category 4 hurricane in, in Hawaii. But it's already passing us. Oh, okay. It hit Maui, and today it's okay. supposed to be hitting us. But by now, it's about 130 miles out from us. 
Okay. So we're getting just this. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the governor's advice and, and not take any chances. Yeah. And I'm gonna head back home and so it might be good to, to rope yourself to to the to the railing here maybe for when it hits or maybe you'll be done by then. No. Uh, um, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to run. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. So you know that the hurricane is coming, right? Do, do you need me to call 911? Do you need me to call 911? No. no. So, see, so you can see people here in Hawaii, they just, I mean, the, the sirens were going yesterday, but still everybody was out and about. Um, and look, she, she's really struggling to get up here. This is just not safe. So, you know, if you, if you come to Hawaii, just, you know, heed the warnings because she just barely made it out. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to see that happen to people. You get a lot of tourists who come here who just, they, they don't know how to play it safe. Um, all right, I'm headed back, bye. All right, I'm back here at the apartment and uh, looks like everything stayed pretty safe while I was gone. Um, nothing major happened. Um, but let me give you a little tour around, show you how I've prepared for this hurricane. You can see I've got all my shutters down except for this one, just giving me some visibility. Um, last night, you know, there was these shutters were just like, you know, blah, 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 you know, that's that was just me tapping them. That, but uh, but last night it was really like, uh, and this baby I've got, you know, if, if something really goes wrong with this building, uh, and I got to evacuate this building, I can head up into the hills, and uh, and I can survive on everything in that for for a good three weeks. I got food. Uh, first aid, clothes, tradables, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of people trading, you know, if things get really bad, uh, you know, so I've got some medicine in there, uh, coffee, tea, condoms, weed. So, it's about 2,000 rounds. Um, you know, I hope I don't have to use it, but uh, this is a, you know, Hawaii has a lot of really restrictive gun laws, but a lot of people do own guns, and if things get really hairy, uh, I'm going to be prepared. Um, God, the stores were crazy. You know, I, I was in line for water for at least an hour at Times Supermarket. But you can see there I've got over 20 gallons. I've got another six gallons in the corner over there. Um, so that's all for drinking and, and cooking. In the bathroom, you can see I filled up this tub. This is probably another, like, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 gallons. So this is for flushing, watering my plants, uh, for bathing but I've got tons of, of canned food and, and you know, I got a lot of fruit that, that should, you know, last a couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm all ready. You can see I'm a, you know, this is a shelter in place building. So uh, I'll be safe here. I know not everybody here in Hawaii is as, um, you know, is as fortunate to, to be in such a safe place and be well stocked right now. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help people, you know, if I, like if I see people down on the street and they're, you know, like wading through water, looking for food and stuff, you know, I'll, I'll probably try to help them out. All right, Hurricane Howley on location. Aloha. All right, so right now I'm in the safest place in my apartment. Uh, so when things get really bad, this is where I'm gonna hunker down at. Uh, you can see I've got a door behind me. Behind this is a bedroom with an, a sliding door. And then on the other side of that is my lanai with the shutters. You can see it in this way. I just got a, a hallway that goes to the, the inside of the building. Around the corner here is the living room. Uh, and then this way is a, another bedroom. So this is, you know, when things get really bad, uh, you know, this is, I'm going to be safe from flying debris. Um, you know, the, the rain flying in through the, the shutters isn't going to, to be hitting me. So this is a good, good dry spot.